Hello and welcome to my channel. This is the third video for a must learn optimization concept in which we are going to learn what a polyhedron is. Well, by the end of this video, you are going to learn five things. One, the plural form of polyhedron term is polyhedra. Second, we will learn the analytic meaning of a polyhedron. Three, we will learn how to represent a polyhedron in a compact form. Four, we will go over some familiar sets that are polyhedra. And five, we will learn a bounded polygon is called polytope. First, the plural form of polyhedra term is polyhedra. This plural form happens frequently in literature of optimization where we have minima as the plural form of minimum, maxima as the plural form of maximum, optima as the plural form of uh, optimum, which means the desired point. Also, we have extreme, extrema as the plural form of extremum. Uh, and as an example, one can say uh, a non-convex function may have many local minima. That means it has um, a lot of points that are local minima. In the second video of the current playlist, we learned that a hyperplane is associated with linear equalities like this. And a half a space is associated with linear inequalities like this. If you don't know what a hyperplane or half space is, please refer to my video on them. I'll put a link to that video in the description section below. Now the question is how to handle a set of points that are common among multiple half spaces and uh, hyperplanes so here we have multiple half spaces and here we have multiple hyperplanes and we want to find all points that are common among these uh, half spaces and hyperplanes rigorously speaking a polyhedron is defined as the solution set of finite number of linear inequalities and inequalities note that uh, m and p here are finite numbers now we want to suppress the notation and write the previous definition as a compact form it suffices to put every row a j transpose vector to a matrix here to form matrix a here and we can put every scalar bj into a column vector b to create that vector b here we use curl inequality to denote vector inequality or component wise inequality in our m because we have m finite of these linear inequalities we can also put all row vectors cj transpose into uh, the uh, into row of c to create this big c matrix and we can use all these dj's to create the vector so we uh, have this compact form as the notation of our polyhedron awesome now we want to go over some examples but not a specific example we introduce a class of sets and say they are polyhedra. For example, all affine sets are polyhedra because they can be written as the solution set of a system of linear equations. I have a video on affine sets and I will put the link to that video in the description section below. However, I will explain an affine set very quickly. An affine set A is a set where uh, the line passing through two distinct points is in A. Here, this uh, wide line in R2 is an affine set because if you take two arbitrary points x and y, here x and y, the line passing through x and y is in the set uh, that we are uh, exploring 
a subspace is also an affine set. For example, in the left picture, this green line is a subspace because it crosses the origin. So it is an affine set and it is a polyhedron. Similarly, uh, the blue hyperplane on the right hand side picture is an affine set because if we take two arbitrary points x and y the line that passes through x and y is still in the set so it is uh, an affine set N note that uh, uh, every side of this uh, blue hyperplane goes to infinity and uh, we don't have a slab here it's a hyperplane uh, the green subspace in R3 is also an affine set, so it is a polyhedron. This subspace is a subspace because it is a hyperplane that passes through the origin. Um, also note that none of these sets are bounded. A half a space is the set of points X satisfying this inequality. Clearly, this is a polyhedron and it is not bounded because it goes to infinity from every size that I denoted. A half space is not affine since if you take two points X and Y here and draw the line passing through them, this line will not be on the set, so it is not an affine set uh, and uh, it is a convex set. Well, another set that is a polyhedron is a ray. In this picture, the blue line here is a ray. I have denoted it thicker for the sake of representation. To define a ray, we need a point x0 and a direction v to get x0 plus theta v, where theta is larger than 0. Here, x0 is the point and direction v is the dotted line here. If you let theta be 0, you get x0 here. If you let theta be 1 fourth, you get this vector and uh, x0 plus theta v would be x1 and you get x1 point here. Uh, hence, by changing theta from 0 to infinity, we get all points on the blue ray. Now you may ask how one can represent a ray using a polyhedron notation. The answer is we have this blue uh, ray here. For that, we can draw this line, uh, blue, a white line here. Now we can define a half space that covers this blue ray uh, therefore the intersection that we get is the blue ray and notice that a ray is not a bounded set line segments are polyhedra for example this line segment here can be represented as the intersection of two half spaces so i have this blue half space here and this green half space here the intersection of these two half spaces is going to be this panel right here and now i can define a line uh, using the line segment which is the dotted white line and the intersection of the line and two half spaces is going to be a line segment therefore i have a polyhedron well we have a word for a polyhedron that is bounded and we call it polytope. So a polytope is a bounded polyhedron like this picture which is the intersection of five half spaces and is bounded. So we call uh, this polyhedron P as a polytope. Well, what are the takeaways? We learned that the plural form of polyhedron is polyhedra. We learned a polyhedron is the solution set of finite number of inequalities and equalities. Now we know 
how to write a polyhedron in a compact form also we saw a couple of examples like a fine sets rays and line segments finally we learned a bounded polyhedron is called polytope uh, thank you for watching my videos and i hope you've enjoyed this video you can support my uh, channel by liking my videos and giving them a thumbs up please make sure to subscribe to my channel to get notifications for new videos also it is a very huge help to share my videos with anyone who you think uh, would find them useful have a great day